morning everyone and uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, the scene behind me, uh, the Horse and Groom pub, it's um, well known on Gallywood Common for its uh, real ales and uh, um, food and what have you. Um, so um, it's the first day out from lockdown uh, that I'm allowed to get out and uh, do something. So um, really looking forward to putting this one down and I'm going to lead you through the painting process. Thank you very much. Well that's the view in hand and uh, I've just produced the pencil drawing uh, all ready for paint. Um, Quite not a difficult one to draw, uh, just picking up the balance of the whole thing. Um, but overall, oh, I think that one uh, will should turn out uh, quite nice. Right, I'm using quite a large brush and uh, my normal uh, mix of uh, colours. I'm not going to use too many colours on this one. Um, first thing I'm going to do is damp the sky at the top, just to give the... Uh, cloud work a little bit of um, softness. I don't want too many hard edged clouds in this one. Uh, normally paint that way. Um, quite cloudy although nice and light here. So um, what I'm going to do first is just put in cobalt blue, perhaps ultramarine, give it a little bit more punch. Just somewhere just in the centre there, just so as we can see that there is um, a little bit of blue sky. And then on the right, I'm going to drop in a little bit of weak Indian red, just with a touch of blue in there. It just gives us an indication that something a bit lighter that, that side. Okay. Lovely, look at that. Okay, now I'm going to keep the sky very light. A um, little bit of um, Payne's grey just to show a sense of cloud work um, because that's um, quite uh, relevant uh, on this one. Now I'm drying the brush lifting off some of those areas that are running a little bit out of control. Now I need just a little bit of warmth somewhere, a little bit of either a sienna or a what about a little bit of light red? There we are. Just to give the, the sky, I like my skies to have a little bit of warmth. I even use a bit of um, olizum crimson. There we go. Just for a little bit of warmth in these lower areas and particularly that side of the sky where there we are. it's very wispy and uh, just soften that just a touch with a damp brush. There we go and just run around there like that and that is about all we can do for that lovely sky area so that's sufficient for that all so having said that i do like a patch of decent blue in other words strong blue just i don't know it always seems to well that's the way i see my skies anyway perhaps another little patch coming in up there that'll all run down create a very blurred sort of image but that's fine okay apart from that it's um let's put a little bit of the grass is quite sad so let's put a little bit of that sadness to the grass there and a little bit of sad grass there there we go it's a tapering uh, area there and as we come forward strengthen up that yellow to try and get uh, a feeling of warmth, a bit of blue in there as well, just to get that feeling of warmth. And because it's green, I'm going to drop in some red just in the foreground because that helps the feeling of um, it's a complementary color, really. Okay, so that really is the first stage, right? I've allowed that to dry for a second or two or a minute or two, but it's not too bad. 
uh, it's drying fairly quickly. Now, when I look at this building, the uh, roof area is darker, tile work is darker than the, the rendering. So let's get the render in first, let's get the, sorry, the tiled work in first. And I'm using Burnt Sienna for this. Um, it's like a greeny grey. So I'm using Burnt Sienna, Cobalt Blue. Here we are. That's not so bad. Oh, and I need a bit more Burnt Sienna in there to make it slightly more brown. What about a bit of light red? Three colours, not always a good thing to do but three colors seems to work for this particular passage um you have to be a bit careful but i like to have the um have the sky with a little bit of warmth to it um sorry the um these tiles and i'm producing this one first and um if we get a bit of bleed into the sky I'm not too concerned with that at this present um, the panic stations I leave till more near the end so at the moment we'll hopefully get away with that board at an angle so we shouldn't have too much trouble with that so I'm painting around the chimney right that's that's good yeah happy with that and I'm going to paint the line where the overhang of the um, of the tiles comes now I'm weakening that, just putting a little more water with that to produce this one because it's more. It, this one is in sunlight, this part of the roof. So I've made that lighter in tone, same colour, but somewhat lighter in tone. And this one the same really, that little extension at the side there, I presume that's an extension. And then as we go over to the back, I'm going to paint this one in this roof considerably lighter. Like that. And then it's time, just before it dries, is to get in some greenery for the background. Quite a bit of blue in this green. See how the, the, the paper is still slightly damp, so I'm getting uh, quite a soft feel for this, which is exactly what I'm looking for. A bit more blue in that, just to deepen it up as we come down. And there is a lighter green there, so I'm going to try and paint around that. So that's that one. And this one is even bluer, because... Oh, it's a little bit dry now. That's okay. That's that's fine. It's not a problem. Paint around the chimney, across the top of the build, and down the side of that chimney there. And the way the, the branches just hang out is quite important. Um, but it's all soft and subtle. And just pull that in, because that's all going to be lost anyway when we have. Uh, another area of greenery coming up there and then really blue and really weak is this one on the side there really soft because that one sits really well back good that's looking good now the building itself um, it's like a grey it's it's that uh, sort of colour that's all in at the moment um, so um, Let's just try and pick up a little bit of that grey. Now painting around the windows. I'm going to use ultramarine. And yeah, I think that's it. It's quite weak. Don't want to be too light with this. Um, ultramarine and burnt sienna. Same as the roof work. But this time um, we're going to paint with more blue in there let's do the do that side as well that's going to take shadow uh, could do with a bit of sun and then we will be able to see the shadow side completely but at this stage we're um we're we'll be making the shadows up if they don't form 
and this area is nice and light uh, the horse and groom sign there is all darker uh, and there we go there's a horse coming along very well known gallery common for the old race course um, which was um, in use many years ago um, and quite an interesting uh, feature to walk around that's the base of the race course is still here um, and um, very interesting uh, place to live actually um, and this is a little bit lighter there because of the sunlight on that um, there we go it's pretty good that's pretty good and let's make this a little bit lighter as well so just drag across the paper with the brush just purely to achieve that uh, effect like that that down like that good okay so that's the building in okay well I've uh, made one or two additions during the stop uh, just put the that roof in the, that chimney and just put some color onto that building there so I just thought I'd do that um, rather than take up too much time showing you exactly how it's a very similar application so that's the um, subject um, as I say the horse and groom pub on Gallywood Common and this is the situation that I'm looking at the scene and that is the stage so far just get that balanced so that we can we can see exactly what I'm doing well the next stage really is to um, put in a bit of greenery um, uh, fill in some greenery there I'm going to bring some greenery over there there is just that red roof that's just showing so don't want that too red purely because it would detract from the building itself so and when you run into greenery like that you don't want to show the back edge of that just clean the brush damp it and lift it off so it's blurred away and then when you bring the greenery over you've got a soft edge behind instead of a hard edge right now I'm going to put a bit of greenery in um, nice bit of yellow um, I think there's a, like, like an ivy area running up that steps there putting this in quite intensely uh, and um, yep now I'm adding a bit of Prussian blue with that I like Prussian blue to get my greens with cadmium um, gives a nice dark green, I think it's a bit of a rose area there um, one or two little touches of roses there sort of thing that you you know some people make a lot of um, I'm actually going to make very little of um, a bit of a creeper there of some sort um, that's more or less it, it just shows where the steps are uh, and then I'm adding more yellow and I'm creating this light bush area well it's a small hedging area there that runs over the roof line holds the roof line there because it sits at the back there we are and at the front of that to start with I'm going to be quite light and broken so we get a nice bit of light onto that hedge a nice bit of light on that hedge but then as we come down I add more more Prussian adding a bit of burnt sienna just to give it a warm green instead of a cold green and heading down it, it is a it is a, a hedge but it's quite um, quite well managed so it's not a small pot there and as we come down into the real lower area just before it dries I'm going to give it a bit of punch along that bottom edge and around that planting area there just to get 
sense of sunlight. A bit of brown and all just bending here and there. Good. And this dark area, I think there's a something there. I think it's a lamp um, a um, post of some sort. Good, but it's a lovely foil for the rest of the picture. Right. Um getting there, getting there, not too much really to um, to be concerned about here. I'm going to put in the chimneys because you know they never look quite right. Now the chimney pots, I've got a nice red chimney pot um, for for this for this large. There's three of them: one, two, three. There we go. Simple as that. Uh, chimney pots at the back are brown, but they're nowhere near. Um, sorry, they are red but they're nowhere near as dark yeah like that uh, same with this one really it's quite a quite a tall affair but that's it now the chimney stacks similar bricks similar color to the roof really so I'm going to put in that like that this one like that Sits straddle the flavouring. There we are. Just needs to dry, just lift a bit of colour off that light side. Uh, and the same there, just to give it a bit of light, a bit of life. Uh, windows, basically pretty dark. Uh, ultramarine blue with burnt umber. So those are the two colours. Um, then I'm going to mix together, I'm trying to pick up quite a bit of burnt umber. I might actually pick up burnt sienna because it's it's looser than my paints. A little bit dry this morning. We're in the studio overnight and it's very warm in there, so I ended up um, getting quite dry. I should have damped them really before I came out, but there you go. Um, now I'm painting the glazed areas, leaving. The white for the framework. Didn't leave white for that, that's not important. Um, now I'm adding a bit of Prussian with this and creating a little bit of, trying to get a bit of reflection onto these panes of glass. And you know, it, it's I'm remembering the light is coming from the right, so I'm trying to get some reflection. And a little sense that there's a bit of shade on those windows. Uh, same there. In actual fact, just paint those in like that. That's a board. Uh, these windows the same. Plenty of light reflection on them. That's really what we're looking to do. And a little bit on the green side. Uh, sometimes dry brush work is. sort of thing that and the reason why I'm putting in the green is because I need to show the um, fact that there may reflect a lovely bit of sunlight look at that lovely shaft of sunlight they may indeed reflect uh, the greenery that's um, behind and um, there is a window here not worried too much. I picked up some red there, but that's not important. And then inside this opening, there's another window, and that will be considerably darker. So I'm using more blue because it's away from the, the light itself. There's another window inside that opening there. Um, what I think I'll do, I think I'll treat that with just the glazing on the top. There we go. That's the easiest way out of that. I uh, always pick the easy option. Um, well, that's my theory anyway, because um, painting's hard enough. Uh, you don't want to see too much. And if you can get away with just a hint at the glazing there, like that, remembering there's light coming in. 
but that's an opening right so that being an opening would be very blue to start with with burnt umber I'm trying to dig out the burnt umber this time quite blue like that just put a bit more blue in there if I can dig that out there we are and then as you come down that side all of a sudden the light enters that front area and clean the brush actually putting in a little bit of yellow into that bit of warm tone because that's where the light is entering that part of the building a bit of warm tone on there and there it attracts the eye to that area which is the entrance to the pub and then lovely light red for the tile steps we are I think that probably um, does it. We need to set, stand back and uh, see how far we've got, really. So, and that really is all you need to do for a couple of figures enjoy, enjoying a pint of beer, um, which will be indicated by a couple of dark little. There we are couple of little dark uh, areas to indicate glass really good well it's not too much more to do i um, going to put in the dark guttering burnt umber ultramarine and there is a nice bit of down pipe there um, we've got a dark gutter surround there don't make your gutters or and a dark edge surround on the door opening. Don't make your gutters too um, too large. Um, you can always give them a bit more width, but put them in um, too large quite often and unfortunately. Um, so I will start off pretty small. And uh, there is a, uh, um, a lot of vent there. Yeah. I don't know whether that's worth putting in, but I'll put it in anyway. Um, it's just, it's certainly got a cowling on the top. Um, so that's that. Got to get the real darkness of this colour. Right, there is a, a bit of signage there. I think it says horse and groom in small letters there. This one definitely says horse and groom, so I'm going to try and write that in so that everybody can probably read that, hopefully. Horse and groom. This, this is the sign there. We have another piece of signage there. A nice bit of shadow on those eventually. Now I don't make them too dark to make them too precise. It's always nice to leave a little bit of um, something for the viewer to um, to think. Well, wonder what that says. You know, is that what did that say on that sign? If you write everything, you tell the viewer um, too much. Really, there is a nice signage there too. If you notice, I'm leaving bits of light. Oh, and there's a lovely old um, bin. I always like to show the bins because it is quite important. Because bins are very important, I think, to um, the upkeep of these um, these lovely old uh, parts of the English countryside. Um, so it's always useful to put in. And then finally, a um, little bit of a couple of uh, planters there, one there, another one in there, Just little planters. Always oh, nice to have odd little bits and pieces that uh, make the whole uh, building, the whole uh, thing look interesting. And we've got some like burnt sienna 
fountain. I don't know quite what it is. It's some sort of fern thing. Um, but not good at plants. Uh, but there you go. Uh, they're there anyway. Good. Ooh, I've just noticed that I've not put in this tree in the background there. But I'm going to leave that. We'll have a look at that at the end. Right, now the key to this one is the darks and lights. I'm going to bring this tree in here, overhang it, then a shrub area, then it runs off towards us, um, and that should balance up. Um, may have to then add a little sum from there just to give it a bit of balance. Um, but let's see how we go. Right, now this I'm going in with a dryish brush. Um, uh, let's start with, let's, let's go with cadmium yellow, Prussian blue and burnt sienna. Those three colours give you a wide variety of greens uh, and the, the brush is only just loaded. A little bit heavier than I wanted but anyway. Now I'm bringing over a branch so that stands out over there like that. Going in, picking up some more paint, starting on the left where it's dense. Then the, then the brush runs out of paint. And I then head towards the right hand side. <clears throat> bit more water, a bit more blue, <clears throat> a bit more brown. Darker green this time, slightly darker. And put some of that dark area, just hinting, up into that damp space so it's a little darker so overhanging that roof line just helps to cover that um, that bleed of the color a bit more blue a bit more brown so it's really really dark now on this edge there a bit more paint yep that's just helps to indicate that running out of picture there and then I'm going to finish that there then I'm going to clean the brush and add in a cadmium yellow and that is going to be the, to start with the lighter bush that's coming in on the right hand side, the, 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 sort of like the undergrowth that comes towards us. Then I'm going in with burnt sienna with a touch of Prussian just to give that just a little bit more depth of colour. There. And then we're painting back again, leaving the lovely yellow underpainting. Uh, burnt sienna going in here quite dry this time so as we can see a definite change of colour and then that runs out of picture like that goes quite dark more or less like the sky at the moment so I'm having to get this down pretty quick just in case it does speak of the odd rain shower here and there um, so I'm hoping that I can get this in um, before it actually does rain Well, there's the scene in hand.
okay well I've just put shadows in um, uh, with um, ultramarine light red um, ultramarine and Indian red just on those back edges underneath the guttering um, put some on the greenery and leaving the tops unpainted I thought I'd explain this as I go um, there is just a little more bit of chimney work there needs a bit of um, just a hint at shadow notice how the strong shadows are reserved for there the, the weaker shadows there then finally I'm going to have some foreground shadow work now I've got to be a bit careful here because it's not actually um, we've got sunlight coming from the right so we can't really have any shadow this side um, and we don't want too much I'm going to use a dark green for this um, because oh, um, Prussian blue cadmium yellow um, and with a damp brush I'm going to soften this shadow so I'm dampening the area that I need for that to actually soften into like that and then I can paint into that in a way down into the track and up and that way we get a nice soft shadow now I'm adding blue to that to give it a strength pull that shadow in like that and I'm leaving the roughness of that a little bit of red there I like that uh, tell you something I would be interested in is a shadow blocking out that right hand side running across that build that then comes through that then lays on that area there like that so that um, it gives it all a little bit of um, interest really and then some very weak shadow just nice to have a bit of soft shadow this side but nothing too strong just to pull your eye into the picture really okay now I'll just sit back and evaluate that well there you are um, I've taken the surround the white surround just got to sign it. Uh, I always do that almost directly after I've painted in the paint that I used. And I think that looks quite nice. Well, there's the horse and groom pipe I've just painted uh, on Gallywood Common. Uh, just going to pan up to the scene itself and uh, that is actually the pub itself um, lovely old pub Gallywood Common uh, pop up for a pint if you're in the area it's uh, have a walk and a pint sit outside in the sun and there is the painting of the picture or the picture I've just painted basically um, well I hope you've enjoyed that video um, I will be posting more very shortly um, on my YouTube channel um, love this uh, painting this first day back uh, painting plein air uh, since lockdown and thoroughly enjoyed it it's a not a bad day and uh, just stay tuned to my YouTube channel and please subscribe um, if you like my videos. Take care.